Alrighty guys, so this is going to be your reading for the month of March. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you guys also for being patient with me as well. I know I haven't been on camera for some time, but I will be getting back on camera in the month of April or a little bit after my birthday. I just want to take some time to really work on other projects and I feel like with me, you know, having to get ready in the morning and look good for you guys, that takes up a lot of time, but... I will be getting back on camera, but before we do get inside, I guess what's going to be going on for the month of March for the energies, I want to make a couple announcements. I want to tell you guys about a couple things that I do have going on here with the channel and I really haven't had a chance to in some time, but I'm going to go ahead and elaborate, okay? So guys, if you are unaware of the fact that I do have my tarot classes back up and running, um, I'm gonna let you guys know now I do have my tarot classes back up and running So if you are someone who's interested in learning tarot or you're interested in joining my tarot mentorship class That is available And this is a class that you can learn on your own leisure I post the information and how you choose to learn it is going to be kind of your decision Okay, but it is a group where we come together and we share tips and tricks when it comes to the tarot and we just go back on there and we update information that we kind of learn it's like a forum also with information that i give as me being a tarot reader and me just co constantly doing readings for others i kind of see how readings kind of go and some key points that i kind of just share with you guys so if you're interested in that I do believe the deadline for signing up for that is going to be March 20th. So if you are interested in signing up, you have until March 20th to sign up for that class. I do have limited space because it is such a private community. It's ran on a secret <laughs> type of basis thing type of thing. It's not on any sort of platform. It's on the site. You kind of get like an access code to get in. So if you're interested, like I said, the last day to sign up until what i think the last or the next time i will be allowing people to come in is going to be in like august so if you're interested make sure you join so you can get those key juicy deeds also details for learning how to conduct your own readings and stuff like that and how to start your own tarot business if that's something that you're interested in another announcement i want to make i haven't had a chance to really promote my patreon i did have a patreon in the beginning of my channel and i did have to take some time away from it because it was becoming way too consuming um i was taking personal readings on there as well and that got overwhelming so i do have my new patreon up and running and this one is going to be for my daily messages so if you are someone who wants to see some daily content um some really cool readings and i also We'll be giving away one question readings, I guess you can say. I wouldn't say it's a reading, but one question and answer type of thing for everybody who signs up. Make sure you do sign up for that as well. That link, all of the links that I'm talking about, everything that I'm talking about will be in the description box. And I will have everything labeled for where you can find it, okay? Also, um, if you're interested as well in my pick a card channels where I do like pick a card reading stuff like that That information is in the description box. I just started that channel I didn't want to put pick a cards on here because it kind of throws the content off I kind of just want to keep this channel for like weekly messages and like, you know Forecasts and stuff like that and then I'll have the other channel for pick a cards So if you're interested in that check that out And then I also have another channel where we actually just talk about lifestyle stuff where we talk talk about basically ways that you can avoid a lot of situations and just spiritual stuff as well like we got we go into depth on that channel okay I even will do some astrology stuff on that channel as well so make sure you subscribe to mystical pick a card that's my pick a card channel and also make sure that you um, subscribe to galactic goddess tv that's where I just do topic videos also, we reached 20K. I know this is so long-winded. I'm so sorry, guys. We reached 20K. So thank you guys so much for helping me reach 20K. I am definitely going to be doing something super, super cool as far as a sale for you guys because my birthday is coming up and we reached 20K. So I feel like, guys, I have to give back to you guys 
also I am gonna do like a special sale because before I think my birthday week and after my birthday week I will be taking like two weeks off basically in the month of April so if you do want to get any personal readings now is your best bet to book with me in the month of March because in April I will be um, celebrating my birthday okay also another announcement um i do not have any slots open for march 22nd through march 25th i believe because i will be on vacation as well i will be out of the country so i will not be able to accept any clients or if you do book in that time frame expect to get your reading sometime after that okay um and yeah i think that's all the announcements i had to make i'm so sorry that that was super long-winded we're gonna go ahead and get into the reading guys and i hope you guys enjoy everything that you guys need to check out will be in the description box and also if you'd like to donate for my birthday i'm an aries okay aries gang my birthday is april 9th if you like to donate if you like to book with me if you like to just contribute to the channel um i would really appreciate it guys and thank you guys so much for helping my channel grow to where it's at and i'm just super thankful okay i really do appreciate you guys all right so let's get into the reading i won't bore you guys enjoy Alrighty, sagittarius so this is gonna be a reading for march 10th let's go ahead and get straight into your messages let's see what's going on with your love life so what's going on with my sagittarius is love life okay <laughs> so that one to make itself known you guys are in a state of confusion you don't know what to do um, some of you guys, you may have a lot of options that may seem like options, but they're really not. With the Seven of Cups, this is like illusions. Like people presented as options, but really not providing much, okay? Um, and be careful what you pick as well. That is something that I will caution you guys about, okay? But let's go ahead and continue shuffling because that did throw me off. Sagittarius for March. 2019. your cards are really not cooperating so i don't know what this is trying to say but i'm gonna be hopeful you guys know i'm a sad rising so all righty so my sagittarius my sagittarius is partner's feelings the Sagittarius feelings for their partner, the challenge, the guidance, and the outcome. Wow. So let's talk about this, Sagittarius. Let's back you up a little bit. Um, let's also pull some Romance Angel cards as well while we're at it. And I'm just going to explain the energies that I'm seeing at the bottom of the deck. So... What we have here at the bottom of the deck, yeah, I'm going to take these two because these two just fell out. What I'm seeing, we have the four of swords. So some of you guys, you may be taking a mental break from your partner, trying to figure things out, or your partner may be taking a break from you. And some of you guys could be feeling a little hurt, okay? I feel like also after you guys getting a sense of clarity when it comes to a heartbreak, you may be either getting closer to your spirituality or you may be gaining wisdom when it comes to the situation here. But really, like, having to live single and get fulfillment within yourself. Or, again, figure out what you need as far as fulfillment within your relationships here. Okay? And I feel like, also, you're going to have to make some decisions this month. But give me one card for my Sagittarius from March 2019 for the guidance for their connections this month. And we have, okay, I'm not going to take all of these. Give me one card. Okay, I'll take two. So it says, keep shit clean. Bottom of the deck, it says, gross bathrooms and dirty floors suck. Okay, um, and then it also says, love can hurt like hell. Breathe through that shit. Okay, and then also from my romance angel deck, we do have, it is safe for you to love and deception that came out. So guys, I really feel like this month you guys are battling a situation where there is deception, whether it's coming from your part or the other party's part, but I am seeing deception here. And for some of you guys, you're kind of on the fence whether or not you can trust this person you're dealing with to see whether or not you guys can make this relationship work. You guys may have both told each other some little white lies or you guys may not be telling each other completely the truth here. 
But with both of these cards coming out, I don't feel like this is literally you guys need to clean up your house. Some of you guys literally, that's something you do need to do. But for others of you, this is like dealing with relationships where there's a whole bunch of dirt or gunky mess that's kind of been built up. Um, whether this is like you kind of keeping that old energy stuck on you or just within the actual relationship, there's stuff that you guys haven't handled correctly or dealt with and just shoving it to the side and not dealing with it is just going to pile up and cause a messier situation. Okay. And I feel like love can hurt, but you guys do need to make sure that you are pushing forward and understanding that like yes you may be feeling some sort of way right now but eventually you will be able to move forward so let's go ahead and get into the reading um what i am seeing for the energy as far as their feelings for you we do have the nine of wands clarifying the nine of wands i do have the ten of pentacles so like i said this person i feel like they've gone through a lot with you or they've gone through a lot within relationships and they're still trying to push forward i feel like they do want to be with you they do want to start something new with you but as far as this commitment i feel as if something is stopping this commitment from actually growing whether this is like you not wanting to deal with this person anymore or again this person feeling like you're keeping secrets from them or they're keeping secrets from you i feel as if this person is trying to use their intuition because if you guys did have a cheating incident in the past that's still affecting the way that they are moving forward now and also if they cheated on you they know that you are definitely um possibly not going to be open for it but what I am seeing for your feelings for your partner, I do have the death card clarified by the three of pentacles and the ace of chalices. So again, I feel like you guys, you want some sort of transition in the way that this person's offering their energy to you. I feel like this person may have a lot of things going on, um, whether this is like extra people or like other work and stuff like that. I feel like you want there to be some sort of transition within that. And I feel like you do care about this person, but you may be having like some internal conflict as far as like what's going on with you guys. But yeah, and I also feel as if you do want an ending to take place as far as like other people being attached here. I don't know if I said that already. But I feel like you do care about this person and you do want to reconcile with them if you guys did split. But extra people are going to have to go here because I feel like you guys, if you're dealing with another fire sign, then maybe this could be them. But if this is you guys, you may be like cheating. You may be being a player right now. So acknowledge where other people are affecting the relationship. But what I am seeing for the challenge, I do have the seven of, seven of wands clarified by the knight of wands i almost wanted to say seven of swords good god um so the issue here is defensiveness like for some of you guys you may be very defensive um you also may be trying to fight for a relationship here where it's just in and out very hot and cold not consistent energy um and i feel as if that does need to stop as far as you guys holding on to a relationship that's not you know fitting into alignment with who you are anymore as well especially if it is very hot and cold or you're not feeling it anymore if you know you're not feeling it anymore then let the person know look i'm not feeling it anymore okay but um what i am seeing for the what is this the guidance for moving forward i do have the two of cups clarifying the two of cups i do have the I'm only going to take one card because there's way too many cards. But clarifying the two of chalices, we do have the star card. So the guidance here is for you to realize that, for one, for some of you guys, the best way for you to get some sort of growth here um, within your relationships is for you to take time to heal both sides of yourself like your feminine and masculine energy needs to be balanced out and i know that i say that a lot within readings but it's something that we do need to take more in account if you're not balanced as far as your feminine and masculine energy you're not going to know how to assert yourself properly or know how to back off as well 
But also, I feel like there is a chance for you guys to get healing energy into your relationships. But it's a matter of whether or not you want to do it. I feel like it is being presented to you. So if that's something that you do want, you can definitely go down that route. But if you feel as if that's not possible, I feel like you do need to be hopeful that you will get a tangible relationship soon. You just need to work on how you're displaying your energy. Okay? But what I am seeing for the outcome of March, guys, I do have the devil card clarified by the Ten of Swords. So, okay, this is making me feel better. I feel like there is going to be an ending to a toxic relationship or just sex relationship. Um, and I feel as if you guys are going to be able to manifest some new opportunities here. But again, you're going to have to let up on holding on to this relationship. You're going to have to let up on that. Okay. And this may be a situation from your past or somebody who you have kids with. Um, I feel as if you are going to have to realize that there is going to be some sort of turn of events. And what you're really holding on to, whether or not it's a burden or not. Okay, but that's what I'm seeing for you guys. I hope that I was able to bring some sort of clarity to my Sagittarius. If this did resonate, please make sure you like this video and comment below. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.